Hey, Setu, what's this? Sir, this is a package from the past. Could you unbox this for me? Yes, sir. Unpacking and giving a 360 degree view for better understanding. Um, could you do me a favor and scale up? Can you explain what this could be? This is a point cloud representation of an ancient Indian temple, sir. I see some structures, steps and an open area there. Could you give it a mass? Yes, sir. Filling it up with mass and texture. This will take a few seconds. Setu, how did you do this? This is the latest technology called the Gaussian splatting. It converts videos from mobiles and drones into volume data. This can then be used in creating content in gaming, virtual production, movies, ads and other media. Tell me more about the structure. This is the famous Konark Sun Temple in Orissa, sir. I see some elements missing. Can you reconstruct this for me? Sure, sir. Reconstructing the destroyed elements modeled from reference images. That's an impressive structure. Let's learn more about this, shall we? Welcome to the fourth episode of Maya Sabha by Setu. Here, we bring to you the great heritage of Indian history with a small twist. We use the latest technology in our storytelling process to make it extremely interesting just for you. Please do check out our previous episodes on Chalukya and Hoysala dynasty. The links are up here and down in the description below. To know more about photogrammetry, please also check out our third episode. At Setu, we are scanning and digitizing our heritage architecture using technologies like photogrammetry, Gaussian splatting to convert these extraordinary monuments into 3D models. In this episode, we'll cover the famous and one of the most outstanding examples of temple architecture, the Konark Sun Temple. From its concept to its scale and proportion, the science and usage of astronomy, this temple is a real marvel. The Eastern Ganga dynasty ruled the Kalinga region, which is present-day Orissa state, from the 8th century till the 15th century. Anantavarman Choda Ganga was one of the greatest kings of his dynasty, who ruled from 1077 to 1147 CE. He was not only a great warrior, but also a patron of arts with specific focus on the construction of temples. The great temple Puri Jagannath was begun by him, which stands as a brilliant monument to artistic vigor and prosperity of the Orissa region during his reign. King Narasimha Deva I, who ruled from 1238 till 1264 CE and succeeded Anantavarman, commissioned the Konark Sun Temple. This temple was built by 1200 artists within a period of 12 years. <laughs> a real great feat, isn't it? Let's look at the word itself, Konark. It's a combination of two Sanskrit words. First, Kona, which means corner or an angle, and Arka, which means the sun. The main deity of this temple is the sun god. This temple is built in the Nagara style, which is also referred to as the northern style of temple architecture. The principal sanctuary is called Reka Devula, which had a high tower with a shikara, but this was sadly destroyed in the 19th century and it no longer exists. This was estimated to be at 229 feet tall. Now, in front of this is the Pida Deula or the Jagamohana, which has a pyramidal roof and is about 128 feet tall. Now, further to the east is the Nut Mandir or the Dance Hall. Today, it's unroofed and sits on a high platform. Various subsidiary structures are still to be found within the enclosed area of the rectangular wall, which is punctuated by gates and by towers. 
The Konark Sun Temple takes the form of a huge chariot for the sun god Surya with 12 pairs of stone carved wheels and a team of 7 galloping horses only one of which survives today. The wheels of the temple are accurately carved just like sundials which are used to calculate time. Can you imagine that they can display time to the precise minute? Let me explain. The wheels has 8 major spokes and 8 minor spokes that divides 24 hours into equal parts. The major spokes divides the day into 8 equal parts which is 3 hours. Now incidentally the word Jammu in Telugu equals 1 eighth of a day or 3 hours. The 8 minor spokes runs exactly in the middle of the major spokes. This divides the 3 hours in half. So the time between a major spoke and a minor spoke is an hour and a half or 90 minutes. On the edge of the wheel, there are beads. Between a minor and a major spoke, there are 30 beads. So, the 90 minutes are further divided into 3 minutes. The beads are large enough, so depending on where the shadow falls on the beads, that is on the left, on the right or on the center, one can tell the time accurately to the minute. Imagine the level of understanding and coordination required between the astronomers, engineers and sculptors to create something like this 750 years ago. You'll be stunned to know that this temple was not just another temple but had advanced technology built in it. Do you wish to know how? Well, each and every pillar of the wall of the temple is surrounded by iron plates where each iron plate separates one pillar from the other. At key nodes of the temple, magnets were placed with variable flux and magnetic intensities. At the center and at the bottom, a large magnet was placed. Now, what happens with this, you might ask? When an idol of the sun god was placed in the center of all these elements, it levitated. For many decades, this flotation of the statue god was a great mystery. But as it always happens, the Britishers damaged the temple took away the magnets and the idol was removed. While taking away the magnets with them, Britishers created a story saying that these magnets affected the compasses of the sailors at sea. <laughs> well, there might be seven wonders in the world, but in India, there are several wonders. Please do take time to visit these places and enjoy the wealth of knowledge that they can offer you. If you like this content, please remember to like, share and comment on the same. This will help us bring you more such content. Thank you. Japa Kusuma Sankasham Kashapeyam Mahadyutim Tamuryum Sarva Papagnam Pranatosmi Divakaram